Hello, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we're gonna take a look at the eTrailer J-Style kayak rack on our 2020 Toyota Tacoma. So normally when you see a kayak being hauled on the road, this isn't a normal configuration. The way that we achieve this is the use of the Inno truck bed cargo rack. And this is gonna allow us to mount our kayak carriers onto the rack and get a nice secure fit. So as you've seen with the rack, this is how we got the kayak mounted. Now, how do we keep it secure and making sure it's not moving while driving? So with our e-trailer kayak rack included is the straps on your bow and stern, as well as your center ones. So with these cinched down, these are gonna keep this in place while going down the road. Taking a look at the straps, all of them are included with a cam buckle system. And you can see this nice little strap here is gonna keep our extra tied up in place and not flapping in the wind. You also have this nice neoprene cover, which is gonna keep the cam block dry and also looking good for a long time. So to release this, we'll just loosen that up. But before we take that off, I wanna show you how we actually routed it. So we've wrapped this around the kayak and it's gonna to come to the backside of the carrier itself. And then once we have our cam buckle in place here, we're gonna loop it through, as you can see, around the rack itself. And so that's on the bar, giving it nice, firm, secure fit there. And then we just cinch that up. So let's go ahead and remove this and I'll show you the rest of the straps. So looking at how we attach the bow in this. So through our carry handles, we simply loop that through there. And we have our cam buckle here. And with our other strap, we simply looped it through this little holder here and then cinched it tight. And with the extra, just wrap that around. But again, this is a nice secure fit to keep that front from sliding forward. So the kayak that we're using is a nine foot kayak. So make sure you measure yours before assuming that it could fit on here. But with a nine foot kayak, we have a few nice things going for us. And you see, it does look pretty close to the cab, but with our bow and stern straps in place and when it's secured down, you really don't run much risk of this hitting the cab. Also, speaking of cab, you still have access to your extended cab, which is really nice. Let's take a look at the backside. So many times when you have something protruding over your truck bed, it's important that you put a flag on the end. And generally the law is about three foot. So let's check this one. It puts us right at about 29 inches. So we're still under that threshold to not have to put a flag on there. So with the J-Style kayak carrier, the great part about it is, is this is keeping up on an area that normally you can't store things in a truck bed. So you still have full accessibility of using a truck bed and also your tailgate. So many times if you put your kayak in and it's resting again, this, you can't open your tailgate. So we still can use our rear view camera and if we need to grab things out, it's no problem. So now that you've seen what the kayak actually looks like on the kayak carrier. I'm gonna pull this off and we'll take a closer look at the kayak carrier itself. Let's talk about the elements of the J-Style rack itself. So you can see here, this rubber pad acts as a shock absorber. And that's gonna be nice when your kayak's on there and strapped down, it's gonna give it just enough to where it's not gonna be bouncing around and rigid, but soak up some of those bumps. You also see the marine grade foam here We'll rest your kayak on there without damaging it, but also give a little more absorption as well, and it's gonna dry out quickly. The frame itself is a brushed aluminum, so it looks really nice and it's lightweight. It's gonna stay pretty strong against corrosion and scratches, but you know, with a brushed aluminum finish, it may over time get a little bit of wear, but nothing to worry about. We also have these nice hooks here, here so you can just place your kayak and kind of plop that up. Now these arms are adjustable, but we'll talk a little bit more on those later. The way that it attaches is a flange style mount with a simple turn of a knob to tighten down. It's also rubber coated to prevent any scratches or damage to your rack. Now we're gonna take a quick measurement here. And from the top of our rack itself, to the top of the carrier is right at about 17 and a half inches. Now that should clear most things, seeing that the antenna sticks up a little bit higher, but with your kayak on there, you are gonna add some height. So take that in consideration when pulling into your garage. So now with the quick turn of a knob, 
this spring loads back, allowing us to free move it. Now, in the stowed position here, we'll lock that into place and leaving it nice and flat. Now, it does stick out just a hair from the exterior of the truck. How much? I would say, honestly, right at about inch and a half. So with the rack and kayak carrier combo, you're gonna see it's right at a good location for loading this up. Even if you're not of a tall stature, just about anyone at any height can load this on easily. It's sometimes easier than loading onto a roof rack or sliding in your bed can be cumbersome as well. So this is a good opportunity to be able to load your kayak, strap it down, have it secure at any height. So the mounting style on the kayak carrier does adapt to a lot of different style bars, whether it be your modern aero bars or round bars. But if you have Yakima HD bars, those will be too large for those. So you might need to keep looking around. If you do have an irregular crossbar that doesn't fit these, you can also look for a J-style carrier for the channel mount. So while you're kayaking, the last thing you wanna think about or worry about is your kayak carrier going missing while you're out paddling. Now, not to worry, there's a few options here. You can simply loosen this up, pull the flange mount off, and these can go in your truck. You can also run a cable system in here to lock those in place, or you can take a look at the Yakima JLo, which has an integrated locking system. So all of these are gonna keep these safe and secure and in your possession. So my final thoughts on this, this is not a normal way to take a kayak around, but this does seem to work extremely well. You get a few elements that are in its favor. You can use the entire truck bed. You can drop your truck tailgate down still. It's easy to load at just about any height, and you still have access to your cab, all while being secured down tight and not having to worry about it moving. So if you have a kayak and a 2020 Toyota Tacoma, this might be the option for you. And that was a look at the e-trailer J-Style Kayak Carrier on our 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Thanks for watching.